Ah, but I didn't show you my old PC, did I? You need some real context on just how bad it is. <laughs> I think it uh, is pretty self-explanatory. Looks like it's from 1993. And it has no side panels, so all the dust can get in very nicely. It's very, this PC is a 10 out of 10 vacuum cleaner. Well, hello everyone. I'm building my new PC today. Finally. After a year of using a piece of literal trash. Um, I don't know. I'm going to build this PC now. <laughs> so we'll start with the motherboard. And the first thing I'm going to do is take off this old, uh, the AMD CPU mounting bracket. Because no one ever uses this anymore. It is just uh, pretty useless. I always thought this was a pretty stupid way of mounting a CPU in place because it's, it's annoyingly finicky. And there we go. Those come off, I'll put them to the side so I don't lose them. And now, what do I put in first? SSD. Two terabyte SSD here. So I had to look in the box and I found the screws to hold in the SSD. So now I can put it in. And there you go, it goes like goes in like that. Just need to screw it in place. There we go. Don't need to screw it in too tight. It just uh, has to hold it in place so it doesn't move around or fall out. Um, next, we were going to put in the, the RAM. I have 64 gigs of RAM here. If I can just open these all up now. Do those bottom ones not move? Because these, the top one's open, but the bottom one's... Really? I guess not. Huh, that's interesting design. There we go. It's a little bit fiddly to do all this stuff. Haven't even eaten breakfast yet. There we go. There we go. Got the RAM, got the SSD installed. Gonna get rid of this stuff. Put these screws to the side so I don't lose them. It's time for the CPU. Ryzen 9 5950X. I'm gonna have to tear the box to open it. Come on. There we go. Of course, this doesn't come with the CPU cooler. It's just a big empty box with the CPU in it. And here it is. Comes with an instruction book, the CPU itself, and 
Ooh, a sticker to put on your case, of course. Anything else? A nice plastic bin to put stuff in. Oh, and what's some foam? Ooh, luxurious. And oh, yeah, of course, a little piece of paper. All right, I'm gonna put in the CPU now. So it's just it's just this simple. It's got just a little corner here, a gold corner, and this is a little triangle on it so this just uh will fall right in there there we go it goes in just like that you can put this thing down like that so the next step is to put in the little mounting screws for the aio it will mount to like these four right here so there's this and just these little screw bits go in there, those little standoffs. You've got the little, this goes on the AIO, this doesn't go underneath. And then we have the four screws. Which way do these go in? Does it go in like, yeah, it goes in like that. All right, I'm just gonna peel off these film things. I almost forgot about that. Ooh, ASMR noises. Ooh, 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 ASMR. Turn up the gain on your microphone all the way. Satisfactory service. All right, with, all, with the motherboard basically done now, I can move on to putting it in the case. Now this should just drop right on there. Oh, there's a wire in the way right there from one of the fans. Gonna move it out of the way. All right. Oh, there we go, there it is. All lined up and installed. Now I'm just gonna have to screw it in. If I can find the screws, that is. All right, so I found the correct screws finally. So how many are on here? And also, yeah, I could have uh, put the cover back onto the SSD because there's no screw hole here. There's just a little thing that sticks up to like guide you when you're putting it in. So I could just put that back on now. So that wasn't screwing in, and it's because I moved the little standoff that uh, was holding that in. So I, so there's an extra one that I'm just going to put in there to the end hole. And then this will fit properly. Yep. All right, so I have put the fans on the 
AIO up here, but I'm just gonna screw in this, uh, the uh, actual thing that goes on the CPU. So this, right, so what happened there is that the, um, the back plate was loose and it fell down just enough so that the screws were too short. So I just put some tape on it and now it will be long enough unless I have really fucked it up. Nope. What I've done now is I have just um, shoved all the cables out through the holes in the back. And I'm also going to plug in the 8-pin the and 4-pin CPU connectors. Because once I install this, once I put this over here, it's going to be a very tight fit. So I'm going to do those cables before I uh, finish screwing this radiator in. Here it is, finally all screwed in. Looking good. All the cables hidden to the back. Now I'm going to put in the power supply. And then I'll do all the cables up because there's a lot of wires. All right, power supply time. These this is this should be all the cables I need. The 24 pin All I need is one SATA connector. Oh no, maybe two. Uh, and then three of these PCIe 8-pin connectors. So I'm going to just uh, plug these into the power supply because you got to do that first. This end goes to computer. This end goes to power supply. Right, after fiddling with this stupid hard drive cage for way too long, I finally got it back here where it will fit this power supply nicely. See? That fits good now with lots of room for the wires. There we go. I got that screwed in there. All good. Now I just need to do all of these cables up nice with these little uh, cable tie things. There's these nice little channels here for the cables to go into. So that's the next step. So I've been doing this for a while now. <laughs> and I've been doing the cable management in here. And then I was going to put the hard drive in because that's almost the last thing I need to put in. But this this thing was in the way. So I had to unscrew it and unscrew this to get this off. So I should have thought of that first. But anyway, now the last, well, almost the last thing to go in is this four terabyte hard drive. Here it is, it's almost done. Almost done. I know the cable management could be better, but it's it's better than my current PC. All we need to do now is the graphics card. <laughs> Let's see. All right, I've saved the best till last. The graphics card's the last thing to go in anyway. Stuck in the box, eh? Yeah. 
Ooh, does it come with accessories? Like, installation guide. Who needs that? What is this? Interesting. Ah. Boy, that is heavy. All right, this is it. Where's my screwdriver? Oh, I removed the wrong ones, all right. Not the very top one, because there is nothing up there. Did I get that in right? No, I did not. All right. Now I just screw it in. This is a little hard for some reason. Come on. There we go. Got it. All right. All right. And we will turn it on. Ooh, it works. I'm not surprised. I spent hours on this. All right, here we go, success. All righty, oh, here we go. Now I just need to install Windows. Oh, I better set this up, the proper RAM speed. It was working, but it uh, <laughs> kept shutting off and because the CPU is overheating. And uh, I, I opened it up and this was the problem. I did not fully insert this plug all the way. I thought it was in, but there must have been some bad connections, so I just redid redid it, and uh, now it's fine. It works. And then, and then it wasn't installing Windows. And then I remembered that I actually wiped this USB, so there's nothing on it. So I need to go and get Windows on there again, and then we can finally install Windows on this thing. All right, finally installing Windows on here. Finally, I had to just remake the USB. It took a very long time on the old slow computer. A very long time. Only one way to set up Windows.
that's how you do it. 